Hi, this is Shui with a review of the Jordan 39. The design I thought was pretty awful, but I guess that's a fitting tribute to the shoe that this pay homage to, 39, as in the Jordan 9s. Jordan 9, personally, I think is the ugliest, even uglier than uh, the 15s. Ugliest shoe. But think, uh, there's not much of a 9 motive on the shoe except for the uh, this tongue part, this little rubbery pattern, greedy pattern is sort of a tribute or a nod to that little globe logo with the Jumpman logo in that Jordan 9, which I thought was ugly as hell. Uh, the thing is like this little rubbery thing, it doesn't serve any purpose except the aesthetics and it probably adds more weight to the tongue, which would have just been sort of fabric material. Uh, <laughs> for size nine and a half, it weighs about 420 grams and it feels even heavier than what the digits show. So this is a Jordan that's feeling much more like a LeBron. Yeah, like Brian Scalabrini said, I'm much closer to LeBron than you are to me. Yes, this shoe is much closer to LeBron than I am to him or any other shoe is to LeBron's. <laughs> Not a great thing. Uh, the, the plushness is there. Uh, the plushness of LeBron's having zoom mirror and substantial foam. Overall plushness is there. That's sort of LeBron-like. And the fit, this crazy toe box area. Uh, the shoe is not does not run long, but it's nor is it crazy narrow, but there's this crazy dead space here. Even if you lace the shoe up tight, there's going to be this um, dead space here. So if you have a very vertically fat foot and toe this is a good fit for you but for most other people i think you're gonna have a level of insecurity around the toe area uh, so i don't know why but is it designed after paula banquero some of the young stars that's been wearing the jordans i don't know but this is not a very jordan like uh fit Com especially even compared to the 38s which i felt was not a great shoe so the fit, I would say you can go true to size, but if you're a wide footer, you might you might want to go up half a size. If you like a n tight fit and you have a very narrow foot, then you might want to go true to size or down half a size. But once again, I warn you that the length of the shoe is not crazy long. That's something you might want to keep in mind when you try and make adjustments to the exact fit that you, you might desire. Overall, this is very nicely patterned all around. There's no pinching sensation anywhere uh, but because maybe it's because it's so well padded it's not exactly the most breathable also the <laughs> this rubber content this rubber outsole that wraps virtually all over the shoe this definitely probably adds to the weight of the shoe uh, <laughs> uh, the, the heel lockdown is pretty decent I think you should not have any problem with a lockdown there's plush padding and the clutch Hugging, clutching sensation is there. The traction is very similar to the 38. So if you like the 38 traction, you will like this just as much. Um, one thing that's an upgrade on, from 38 is a 38 tried to have this stupid X plastic plate, which is good for stability, but the, there are certain edges that where the rubber just got chipped off and the plastic parts might make contact and make you slip all over the floor. So you don't have that risk. You don't have the danger nor the uh, the painful situation of seeing the shoes components get chipped away considering you spent probably around or more than two hundred dollars for the shoe another thing is the price point pretty expensive um but again better than 30 in that sense but because they do not have a plastic plate and nor is this a very wide base it feels a little bit less stable than the 38s definitely if you want to talk about LeBron's, there's a bit more ankle stability in terms of the outward and midsole thickness, better than the LeBron 15s. Uh, and this little plasticky part added into the outsole and the midsole contact area, it provides some degree of rigidity and uh, torsion or anti-warping to provide that reinforced support to prevent ankle rollover, but still could have been better they could have had something more substantial not too bad the thing is it's not a low to ground shoe like a kobe or the Kyrie, so they would have uh, been better with something more substantial to provide that uh, 
ankle stability. Again, no pinching sensation. Everything is nice. It hugs your foot nicely. And this is, I believe, one of the very rare instances of Jordan, the main Jordan number models to be out in a low cut, sort of like a Kobe 4 low cut. Because the, uh, the Jordan has always come out with this mid or higher uh, kind of really army boot kind of ankles wrapping height in terms of the shoes. So this is a rare instance of a low cut Jordan. So yeah, what else is there? The cushioning, yes, Zoom X with a Zoom Air full length bottom loaded. Um, considering it's bottom loaded, you actually can feel the Zoom Air getting the job done. It, if I wasn't told this was not a Zoom Strobel, I wouldn't have been able to tell the difference if this was a bottom loaded or a Zoom Strobel, probably because the Zoom X foam makes the shoe overall more plush and soft. So I think that's a good move on the part of Nike. Instead of having this as a struggle out here, it provides a little bit more stability and it's not too wonky. Even with this setting, the shoe feels very plush. Um, the insole, there's the same insole they used in the 38, pretty decent. Thankfully, there is no heel sinking sensation like the 38. The 38's biggest flaw is that the heel felt like there's like a tiny paper thin zoom air that just compresses immediately which makes you feel like your uh, your heel sinking and on the forefoot with this added plastic on the forefoot at the bottom of the shoe the shoe feels like the forefoot cushioning is a little bit more rigid and at the same time elevated which is a uh, yeah which is a very quick easy access to injuring your achilles with that setup so that's an improvement, but I still feel they could have done a little bit more in terms of reinforcing the heel because it's full length zoom. So if you've experienced full length zoom, you need to have a certain degree of elevation or reinforcement in the heel uh, because as the zoom bag is compressed with more of your body weight compressing on the heel, you will have the air kind of being more uh, inflated on the forefoot and deflated on the heel. Uh, but it's, it's not bad. There's a certain decent degree of uh, offset from heel to toe. But the price point and the weight, the, the fact that the Zoom X is used, definitely this is a better use of Zoom X than the GT Cut 3, where you don't feel like there's much going on there. And if you saw the dissected pictures, there's a paper thin layer of the Zoom X there, just so that they could put the label there. Um, so it feels like a, a plusher version of the LeBron 11 with the removable uh, Luna Lawn in case zoom zoom in case in a luna lawn or uh, the lebron force where you had a foam pu kind of foam with a bottom loaded full length zoom air as well but the thing is you can actually have this similar sensation not as plush but a similar sensation maybe that is a better kind of sensation lower to the ground if you were to put a very substantial beefy insole on shoes like shoes that had a full length zoom trouble like uh, GT Hustle 2, the KD 14s and 15s, uh, even aerosol, full length aerosols like the PG 5s and 4s with a more s substantial insole, you could feel something similar to this. So they are trying something new, but is it? Are we getting bang for our bucks? I don't know. Uh, you try to shoe on and decide for yourself. Is this the kind of tech? upgrade that you can feel or is it just nike doing nike stuff we put something new so pay us more uh we've been doing our jobs uh, but i don't feel like this is something you know revolutionary or somewhat of a crazy breakthrough again try the shoe on it's very plush it feels like old school 90s soft basketball shoes that you fear the air will give out but in this case that soft plushness will be more residual um, more resistance to resistant to the test of time but again this is just too heavy for a shoe in 2024